Andrew Kelly here. Today I'm going to talk about the high intensity one rep training system. It's a study called by um, Fry in the year of 2000. The exercise that was used in the study over the course of three weeks was the barbell back squat. So they performed the barbell back squat at very high intensities three, three, days, three days a week and uh, for three weeks. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on, in paper. So the, the one rep max of uh, the subject, we'll say his name is Sam, he could do 100 kilos for one rep, so that was his maximum weight he's able to lift. Working sets, his first set at 95% for one rep, so which 95% of 100 kilo is going to be 95 kilo for one rep. His second set at 90% of his one rep max for, for three reps. So then again, 90% of 100 uh, kilo is, is three reps of 90 kilo. This might not seem like a very, very high intensity, but um, when you're doing this three weeks in a row, you're doing this, this program three weeks in a row and at three days a week, it's going to be very fatiguing. So very fatiguing on your central nervous system and your immune system. And so what did the results show for Fry in the study? They, they tested one rep max back squat strength uh, afterwards and they found that, that there was no performance improvements or no performance gains. And also they, they tested acceleration and they found that their sprint acceleration actually decreased. So you'd be thinking, okay, uh, you're sure why the hell would your sprint performance uh, increase, acceleration increase after doing a back squat program? But maximal strength has been shown to actually increase the, the acceleration phase of this, this, the sprint. The reason why is you, put a, you have to put a lot of force into the ground during the acceleration uh, takeoff phase of the sprint. And that's why power lifters have actually been shown, despite people be thinking oh, they're real slow guys, they've shown to be very fast in the acceleration phase of the sprint. So Fry definitely, uh, he, he recommends, um, he warns against going for this, this training program because as showed, it does not produce the results. It's too, it's not sustainable and um, it, it just doesn't uh, pr produce the results. <clears throat> because when you think of it, this, this study was done on lifters. So, if any lifters want to de debunk, wants to debunk uh, Fry's training program, feel free to do so. Thanks for listening.